everybody, welcome to another episode of Ghostly Hunts, where I show you guys how to make some gothic -y, Halloween inspired crafts. In this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make some cute kawaii bat toasters. This DIY is relatively easy to make, just requires some patience and a little bit of skill with sculpting, but nothing too crazy like that. This DIY is also relatively cheap to make. I only made one coaster because I only bought enough materials for one coaster, but obviously this DIY can be as expensive as you make it based off of how much clay you buy and how big you actually make your coaster. So I made my coaster relatively large because I wanted any size cup to fit on it. Now that I've rambled enough, well, let's get right into the video. The things you'll need for this DIY will be a glue gun and glue sticks, plastic scratch guard and sandpaper, 4 ounces of black female clay, and 2 ounces of white female clay, as well as glitter. Now the glitter is optional. You'll need an X-Acto knife, a painter's brush, a pencil, a marker, a palette knife, and scissors, a mug for size reference, as well as outdoor mod podge, cardboard, a baking sheet, parchment paper, and a rolling pin. I don't have one, so I used a can of beans. The first step is to make a bat stencil, so we know how to cut out the coasters when we get the clay prepared. So you're going to take the mug that you have for reference and you're going to trace around the perimeter of the lid. Once I'm done tracing around my mug, I'm actually going to keep that circle how it is because I'm going to make that the base for the bat's body. Next I'm making the bat's feet. I'm just making two chubby cat ears. Next to actually make his ears, I'm making his ears look rather cat-like. Extending about the midpoint of the ear, I'm starting to draw the bat's wings. I'm not exactly sure how to describe bat's wings, but if you watch what I'm doing, hopefully that'll make sense to you. I will also leave a link in the description box below to the reference I used to create my kawaii bat. Once you're happy with your pencil outline, now you're just going to go over it with a marker just to make it more defined so you can better see it when you start cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. Once I finished my bat, I actually noticed it looked a little bit too squished for my liking, so I actually went in and fixed a couple of things that I did not like. This is definitely why I would recommend going over your pencil sketch with a marker. Now you're going to go in and cut out your bat with your X-Acto knife. I ended up only cutting out half of the bat just to ensure that the final product would be as symmetrical as possible. Just a reminder, you'll need 4 ounces of black clay and 1 ounce of white clay. Now I'm going to lay down some parchment paper and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Now you're going to want to use the parchment paper in order to make sure that the clay does not stick because it is really sticky. So I'm just starting with one ounce at a time and just kneading that with my fingers and kind of folding it together and trying to knead it as much as possible. It definitely gets easier the more you work with it. I think the warmth of your hands helps to make it softer. Just as a fair warning, if you do use a black clay, it will dye your hands black. Once you're done kneading your clay, you're going to shape it into a log. If you want your white clay to stay extra white, make sure you wash your hands before kneading it after kneading the black clay. Once you're done kneading the white clay, you're just going to want to stick little spots of it all over the black clay log. Once you've used all of the white clay, you're going to want to fold your log in half and start twisting in order to combine the black and white clay together in a sort of random marbleized pattern. Once you're happy with your marbleizing, you're going to want to roll it into a ball and start rolling it out with your rolling pin or in my case, a bean can. I couldn't get my clay to roll out as thin as I wanted it with just the bean can, so I'm actually using my hands to continue spreading out the clay. Once I got it to a quarter inch of thickness, I'm ready to start cutting out my bat, so 
I picked this side to use for since I like the marbleizing better. Now I'm just taking the bat stencil we created earlier and placing that on top of the clay where I want my bat to be. Now I'm going to take my exacto knife, careful kids, it's sharp, and start cutting out my bat. Once you're done cutting out the one half of your bat, you're going to take it and flip it over and make sure it's aligned properly and start cutting out the second half of your bat to make a complete whole bat because no one wants just half a bat. Carefully peel off your cardboard and now your bat is completely cut out. So to make sure the edges look nice, I'm going to take that palette knife and smooth out any of the edges. In this step, I would try and smooth out any of the edges as well as the top of the bat as you can as it is much easier to smooth it out in this step versus going back in with a sandpaper and smoothing it out after the clay is baked. Next, I'm going to add some details onto my bat. I'm going to use the back of a painting brush to define his ears, his eyes, his little mouth, and some vampire teeth, some worried Charlie Brown eye bags, his wings, his body. and the rest of his wings. So actually I decided to give him a cute little hairstyle. So I'm using that palette knife to cut out little hairs in order to make him look a little bit more cute, a little bit disheveled because he's had a rough bat life. Now I'm just going back in with that paintbrush one more time and just making sure that I like the depth of each of his little characteristics before I go and put him in the oven. Now it's baking time, so you're going to want to preheat your oven to 203 degrees Fahrenheit and set it for 30 minutes. While I'm waiting for my oven to preheat, I'm going to lay down some aluminum foil over my baking sheet to make sure my bat doesn't stick as well as gets an even baking. Lay down your bat gently and suck yes. Once your oven is preheated, stick your bat in for 30 minutes to make sure that the clay sets. While I'm waiting for my little guy to bake in the oven, I'm going to mix my outdoor Mod Podge and glitter together in order to already have this pre-made. Avert your eyes, goofy face and come here. Give your bat plenty of time to cool. I think I gave mine about 45 minutes and start sandpapering the edges. Now you can leave your bat how it was there, but I wanted to give mine a little bit more pizzazz and make sure that it lasted a little bit longer by applying some outdoor Mod Podge and glitter. The outdoor Mod Podge I wanted to add just in case any of my glasses had any condensation on it, so that way it wouldn't affect the clay. I'm also just a glitter addict, so anytime I can add glitter, I will. Once your Mod Podge has dried, you're going to flip your bat over and start hot gluing on your plastic scratch guard pads. Here's an up close shot of the glitter, and here is my completed bat. I think he turned out super adorable, and I love how you can see his little wings and ears even when you have the cup sitting on him. Thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed making your own kawaii bat coasters. I had a lot of fun making mine. If you guys like this ghostly haunt series, please give this video a like or comment down below what you want to see in the future for any Halloween inspired crafts. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. It really means the world to me to know that you guys are interested in my channel and the content I put out. Now don't worry if your 
Hawaii that coaster didn't turn out great the first time around. It just definitely takes some practice, especially if you have never done sculpting before. As Bob Ross would say, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. I hope you guys have a splendiferous, wonderful day, and hopefully Halloween comes soon because I'm missing it a lot. Um, sir, this mug is flaming. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!